Hey everyone, here we are again to get a couple of answers out of Brooke Henry of V2 Engineering about someone's Ducati. Uh, got a couple of questions here from Joel. He has some very nice bikes in his hallway. So he has a couple of questions here for Brooke. As we know, the bevels have poor to no oil filtration. Can Brooke design and manufacture a cunning bolt-on system, perhaps with some kind of external but unobtrusive changeable filter? Ah, uh, yes, Joel. Oh, I've been working on that recently, and I think I probably have that product that you're asking about. Um, it's a new product, and look, I, I mean, to go into that whole thing with that with the oil filtration system is almost a, a, a thing on its own, Rob. It, it, it's um, the oil filtration on a bevel drive mm. is was it is very very bad, mm. and to put something in line, like Joel was asking, is is certainly what you'd you'd, you'd like to do, and, and and it's a great idea. The problem is that the the issue with the filtration is right in the sump, and it's actually in the in the um, the way that the it's in the way that the oil gets from the drain screen into the oil pump, and it is fundamentally flawed from day one. And it, it, I'd like to do, I'd like to make some props. We could do this at another time. We'd like, I'll make some props and show people exactly what, how the existing one works yeah. and how the one that I've made works. Now, your bike, yeah. when that was rebuilt, has got, a, an up an updated insert for the drain screen to go into. Yes, so it's right. the receptacle the little one that the drain make. screen goes into. Now that is so badly designed mm. originally that it, it makes you wonder how they go as long as they do. Mm. I mean it it allows anything that is in the sun. Right. And the engine, any engine, will have bits of debris coming off gears and whatever. It's just how it is. Mm. It's not that that in itself is not uncommon and no big deal, as long as the oil filtration system will stop it going around the rest of the engine. In these things, it picks it up and it, it picks anything up off the off the floor of the sump and pumps it and, and draws it straight into the oil pump and through it through you know that's that's how far it's got to go and there's nothing in that line to to, to filter it. Mm. It pulls it straight off the off the sump, straight into the oil pump, round the oil pump, chopped up and wrecks the oil pump and well, degrades it and then proceeds to distribute it everywhere through the engine. And yes, you could put a filter after the, after that pump and and catch it, but it's still going to do the oil pumping, and yeah, it's a it's a horror show. So what I've done is that I've made a drain screen that goes with the insert of this bike. Mm -hmm. There's one in that bike there. All right. There's actually one in that. All oh, right. Okay. And um, I you know I, I I meant to bring one to show you, yeah. and I will get one when I send the stuff over this bike. I'll send you one. So. The long and the short of it is, it is a replaceable filter. Mm -hmm. It's actually out of a KDM. It's, oh, the, yeah. it's the it's the it's the it's the main big end filter screen out of a KDM. All right. Now I don't use KDM screens, which you can do. Yeah. And it sits in the middle of a new drain screen yes. that we manufacture. Yeah. And. You can unscrew the drain screen, take it apart. You can un take the drain screen apart. It's made of stainless steel. It's not plastic, but yeah. these things. It, you, you can screw it apart and take the filter out, right. wash it, clean it, throw it in the bin, put a new one in, whatever you want to do. Right. Put it back together and put it back on the bike. And the end of the drain screen is also, uh, it, it's got an aluminium um, uh, piece of, it's an aluminium part of the screen which screws on, which is permanent, that, that, that you can't screw that off. Mm -hmm. You can screw the other end off to get it out. And that will seal 
far better than the original screen on a standard drain screen insert that goes in the crankcase, but it will seal 100% on the one that's in your body because it's got an o ring in it. Yes, yes. So it is absolutely impossible for anything to get sucked into that oil pump without going through that filter. Whereas on a, on a normal bike, even if it's got an insert in it, the original, the, 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 the plastic screen that, that is yeah, right, yeah, yeah, it yeah. can still get its way around the end and the screen is not that good and the screen can get splits in it and all sorts of things. So I have made this thing and I've got them for round coast and square coast in stock. Right. I haven't finished the instructions for them, but I'm about to do that. Well, they're, they're nearly done. But they are ready to ship and we've shipped a lot of them. And um, look, they, they, they just, uh, it, it's, a, it's a simple way of making sure 100% of the oil that goes into that oil pump, which is the first port of call for the oil out of the sump, is going through a filter or a screen. So look, it's on our website, um, and I, I would like to do a, 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 a story on that at some point okay. um, to explain and, and set up some props so we can show people because it, it's a bit hard to understand, right? and especially when I'm saying it's as bad as it is. Yeah. You've got to see it to believe it. It really is bad. A couple of questions come to mind relating to what you're describing. The little plonk at the end where it seats in, yep. is that replaceable without pulling the engine apart? Very good question, Rob. <laughs> on, on a round case engine, it's a walk in the park. Right. Because they drill the hole right through the crankcase. Yeah. And they plug one in with a screw in plug. And you can take it out. Because that screw's underneath. And then you've got that little yeah. screw underneath, which is a bit of a um, Achilles heel. And not easy to get out when you're lying under the bike. And I. I do take them out all the time, regularly. I lie the bike on the side, um, so they can it can be done. And on a round case, on a round case, but yeah. you can do it on a square case as well. And I've actually yeah. written instructions of how to do it on a square right. case. And I, I've, I've got a kit that I'm going to market. And yeah. I mean, you don't really the things that I'm going to put in that kit. You could make in your own garage quite mm -hmm. easily. It's a it, you know, like it's a bit of a wire with a hook on it that you can, when you've got the screw out of the bottom, yeah. you can put it down, hook it, and pull it out. Right. It fits through the hub. The yes. It, okay. it, it, you can get the original pickup insert, which is the thing we're talking about, yeah. that aluminium thing. That pops you out. You can get that out yeah. of a standard square case so just without splitting the case. You need to get in there with something that yeah, holds it secure. I've drawn that, and, and I've, I've drawn it and shown how long it has to be yeah. and how, whatever. So... And these days I could do a little video of it. Mm. Um, so the answer is you can change it on right. both. The round case is easy. The square case is a little bit more difficult, but 100% possible. And I'll, I'll, I need to get these instructions okay. finished and done. Second thing that came to mind, do you need an upgraded oil pump to power that uh, filter, the KDM equivalent tunnel filter, or... Is that not as, I mean, is there any, from an engineer, there must be an extra bit yeah, of drain from on From an engineering point of view, a roller begin does mm. not need a huge amount of oil and mm. it does not, it, and it actually is um, detrimental for a, 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 for a, a roller bearing begin mm. to have too much oil pressure, mm. like, a, like a plain bearing one. Like, it, like the rollers will skid, they'll, it'll, it will be, there's plenty of plenty of engineering books around about bearings that will explain that yes. and, and and give you the scientific reasons why a roller bearing big end, a roller bearing bearing in that opera, in that in that um, situation should not have a whole heap of pressure. Volume loves volume mm -hmm. and obviously clean oil. Yeah. Um, the standard Ducati oil pump. If it's in good condition, is fine. It's mm. totally okay. And we manufacture oil pumps, and the tolerances in our pumps are, without any doubt, better than the Ducati original bevel uh, pump. 
and they do put more watt out and they do put more volume out but there's, it's got a pressure relief valve in the system which is what governs the pressure so it wouldn't matter what size pump you put in there unless you change the pressure relief valve you're going to get the same pressure right but you don't want to do that right i can quote so many engines that don't even run an oil feed to the big end mm. four strokes Laverta triple for one right has no pressurized oil from the oil pump to the big end not one drop so not one drop so it doesn't no oil through the crankshaft right. nothing it relies on mist just what splashes up from it the, relies on yeah. mist and a thing called a slinger and All the right. slinger collects the mist yeah and it flings it out to the outside and feeds it in and here's an interesting fact laverta triples mm. crankshafts do so many miles mm. they just keep going they're known going, for and gone and it's what they're known and they've for, got yes. no oil feed right from the oil pump yeah as such to the big end now what does that tell you mm. Roller bearing, roller beams don't need a lot of oil, okay, and that's detrimental. It's detrimental. Look up Phil Irving's books and read them. I mean, he he, he explains it, and um, I I hear this all the time. And look, you've got to have a, you, it, the way that the the bevel, the Ducati bevel, is is engineered and and designed. It certainly has to have oil feed to the beginning through the oil pump system, but that's because that's the way they fed the oil to the big end yeah. but it is as long as everything's working properly um it'll be you don't need to upgrade the system as such the reason we made pumps is because we couldn't get original ones right, right. and we made it and we thought well we're going to make it we might as well make it every bit as good and if we make it better that's even better and we're making our stuff on a cnc machine they weren't with our gears we have that we have the ability to make them and control the quality of them better so yeah it, it is it is a better pump but if you've got a perfectly good original one there's no reason not to use it very good thank you for that that's an excellent answer and uh, very well, interesting products you've got there i didn't even think you didn't know you yeah well a lot of the a lot of the yeah. products you make rob are, are because mm. it hasn't been available yeah and we just we look at the little things that we can do better okay from from the original and do what we can. Yeah.